In today's video, we are talking about the perfect polo, which happens to be the highly prime. Now, there are a few things that I look for in a great polo because I am going to be wearing these in such a variety of different situations. I'm going to be wearing them out on the course when it's hot, I'm getting sweaty at home when it's a little bit cooler and more comfortable. And then also I do wear these year round. And the biggest issues that I find with polos are first, the collars are often awful. The first polo that I ever had, the collar would just curl up. What I have found is that some of the athletic polos are much better at that. So we will talk about how this collar stacks up. The other issue that I have is often the fit will be great everywhere except the shoulder. So first let's start with the fit. The fit on these, I actually initially rated a 9.8 and then I've washed them, I've dried them and I've retried them on. And I'm gonna give this polo an absolute 10 out of 10. The one issue that I did have was with the shoulders popping up a little bit. And I don't know what it is about washing and drying it, but it's actually fixed the issue. And these fit absolutely perfectly. I love these, I have no complaints about them, which is not common when it comes to shirts, but coming in at $78, I really do expect an excellent fit and these over deliver in that area. The second area that I wanna take a look at is the quality of the polo. Anytime I'm looking at the quality of a piece of clothing, I do wanna take into factor the cost of that clothing. And so this polo is $78 at almost $100 for a polo. I am expecting some excellent quality and they do deliver on that. The stitching on this is amazing. The cloth is absolutely wonderful. It is 90% polyester, 10% spandex, which often ends up looking like a cheap garment. They've done a really good job at heathering this, at least this green, and the other colors that they have also look very premium. And so having a $78 polo that does have a technical athletic fabric as well as an athletic cut is absolutely amazing. So fit, quality, both get a 10 out of 10 in my book. They were a little bit lower until I started looking at some of the details in this and I've just been more and more impressed the closer I look which often isn't the case so so far this polo absolutely gets perfect marks in every area I hope you're liking this video so far if you are please smash that like button and if you do want to see more polo reviews let me know in the comments below what brands you'd like to see me review now the third area we want to look at is that problem area of the collar and many of the collars like I said they either flip up they don't stay down they do weird things but if you look at this polo you'll actually see that they've stitched down the collar and what that does is it helps it to stay down it is an athletic fabric and so it does it doesn't curl weird, it doesn't need ironing, you just dry it and it is good to go. The other thing about this collar is they have added a little bit of extra fabric to the back of it all the way around the collar. That helps with comfort, but it also helps to keep it a little stiffer because with athletic polos, what I found is typically the collar will just lay flat and it won't stay up very well. And this collar absolutely stays up really, really well. And so as far as the collar goes, I am going to give it a 9.7. It's not absolutely perfect. I would prefer maybe a little bit of stiffness in the peaks here, but as far as athletic polo collars go, I haven't found a better one and if I do I will be sure to review it because this is an absolutely amazing fit and the color and everything about it just looks amazing. Now the one area where this polo really does fail at is the color selection and that is because there's only three colors currently available. You can get a black, you can get a gray, and you can get a navy. This heather green here is no longer available. I believe it's on clearance at the time of shooting this video. Likely it won't be there by the time you see it but I think it's really only in like a double XL which is not super helpful for many of you. So if you are looking for this polo and you do want a wide variety of colors, you're not gonna get it here. I give this a seven out of 10 because the color selection is so little. I do give it a little bit higher, which you know I would give it a five or six because three colors really isn't much, but I do give it a seven because I have noticed that they are coming out with more colors. When I initially got these polos, the only color that they had was black. And so they've you know expanded, maybe things were out of stock, but they are increasing the color selection. And so I would like to see that continue to you know five or six different colors because this really is the perfect polo and it's the one that I reach for every time. In fact, I have three of these and I had a hard time finding one this morning because I wear them so frequently. So overall, this polo gets about a 9.2 out of 10. And really the only area that this polo doesn't do well in is the color selection. And that should hopefully improve over time. But if you can find the colors that you like in this polo, this is absolutely the best option. I do wanna give you a note here that the sizing on these is a bit different and generally the sizing with Hylite is a bit different. I have had some comments and questions on some of my other Hylite videos. And what I've noticed is that if you're going with polos or any of their athletic shorts, you do need to go up a size. Um, the athletic shorts are maybe a little bit in between. I started out with a double XL. I've started to lose weight and so they have loosened up, um, but I normally wear an extra large. I normally wear an extra large polo as well. And this polo I'm wearing here is a double XL. 
I don't think I could get away with an XL because of where the shoulders land on these and just the general overall fit. So if you're getting a polo, make sure you go up a size. If you are getting their shorts or anything like that, I'm coming out with a couple of videos here soon that'll be reviewing those. Make sure you go up a size. Um, their t-shirts, you do wanna stick with your same size though. And I feel like this is confusing and maybe why this video is helpful is that you need to understand what size you wear in what product they offer. I don't like when brands do that, but I'm here to tell you and give you the heads up that if you're ordering t-shirts, nor order your normal size, polos, size up, shorts, you may or may not want to size up. I did size up on some of them and I probably could have gotten away with my normal size, uh, but they might've been a little more tight. Gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video so far. If you do want to pick up one of these highlight polos, use the link in the description below. And until next time, stay muscular and stay stylish.